1966, just as management and systems were growing prominent in business thinking, a doctor named Davidis Donabedian introduced a radically new concept in medical care delivery that was founded upon what we would call scientific thinking, structure, process, and outcome. Dubbed the Donabedian model, it framed the physician's work around the concept of quality. His paper was enthusiastically received, and a book titled An Introduction to Quality, Assurance in Healthcare followed. In his thought and writing, Donna Bedian expressed the parallelism between the components of a computer and healthcare, input, processing, outcome. Yet his primary focus was ever concerned with quality of care. Simply put, Donna Bedian said quality of care occurs when it is a synergy between the doctor, the patient, the healthcare system, and its standards for care, and whether the final determination of quality care is determined by clinical outcomes and patient experience. Again, we can see Donna Bedian's input, processing, and outcomes as the skeleton for his framing the concept of quality with structure, processes, and outcomes. As he thought, studied, and wrote, Donna Bedian's model came to be defined as the seven pillars of quality. Efficacy, the ability of care at its best to improve health. Effectiveness, the degree to which attainable health improvements are realized. Efficiency, the ability to obtain the greatest health improvement at the lowest cost. Optimality, the most advantageous balancing of costs and benefits. Acceptability, conformity to patient preferences regarding acceptability, the patient-practitioner relation, the amenities, the effects of care, and the cost of care. Legitimacy, conforming to social preferences concerning all of the above. And last, equity, fairness in the distribution of care and its effect on health. Donna Bedian was a progressive physician who clearly gave much thought to his profession and the manner in which medical care was administered. It seems clear he was a staunch advocate of the Hippocratic Oath and committed to doing no harm to patients. He advocated that computer technology and information systems were essential to healthcare and wrote, systems awareness and system design are important for health professionals, but are not enough. They're enabling mechanisms only. But to this he added, is the ethical dimension of individuals that is essential to a system's success. Ultimately, the secret of quality is love. Quality, then, is the end result of gathering information from Don Abedian's three components, structure or context, process or actions, and outcomes, or the effects of all three, in providing consequential medical care. It is quality that can be positive, measured, and evaluated, changed. And most important, quality is your personal and professional goal to everything you do in healthcare. If you feel it is not, then it is your goal to achieve. The purpose of this discussion of systems is to give you tools that will aid you in your efforts on behalf of quality. It's about more than simply being forgetful or careless. It's about total attention to detail, because the outcome of what you do as a clinician is saving lives. You know this. You may not have realized there were these clearly defined tools to help you structure your work to achieve higher level of consistent quality. Today, the Donna Bedian model is still as relevant and useful as when it was introduced. This is likely true because it's founded on a solid understanding of systems as reliable scientific structures tightly integrated with the prime directive of healing human beings. I look forward to your thoughts, so please put them in this post and subscribe to my other video series, Future Primed Healthcare, on my Dr. Barry Speaks channel on YouTube. Thanks for your time today.